स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल ललित सर स्टैंडर्ड सेवन सब्जेक्ट साइंस चैप्टर फोर हीट पार्ट थ्री डे स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट वन एंड टू वी हैव अंडर लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग्स अबाउट क्लिनिकल थर्मोमीटर एंड लेबोरेटरी थर्मोमीटर नाउ वी अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट ट्रांसफर ऑफ हीट दैट मीन्स how this heat transfer to one person to another person or <clears throat> how this heat transfer to the one object to another object we'll understand entire point by the activities and also by the practical examination you might have observed that a frying pan becomes hot when kept on a flame whenever a frying pan when you keep on the flame suppose this is the frying pan when you give hot object below that suppose your flame or suppose any candle or whatever it is and if you observe that here you will feel heat when it starts and after some time slowly slowly heat will progress to the end point of the frying pan that means up to this level heat will come that means something is there from middle of this from the this frying pan from the middle of this frying pan it is improving to the sides slowly slowly it goes to the sides how it happens dear students there is something why does it goes there because it transfer the heat from from the hotter object to the cooler object it slowly slowly goes that way so now you can see here one activity take a road or a flash strip of a metal maybe your aluminum or iron fix a few small wax pieces on the road this pieces should be at a nearly equal distance so you can observe that that this road which is the, contains these wax is due to the heat pass from this angle due to the heat pass from this angle it melt downs the wax slowly slowly and reaches near to the brick that means there is the heat which is given here it transfer to the end point of this brick that means it transfer the heat you understand so the process by which heat is transferred from the hotter end to the colder end of an object is known as conduction got the point the process by which it is transferred from the hotter end to the colder end to the object is known as conduction in solids generally the heat is transferred by the process of conduction do all the substance conduct heat easily you must have observed the metallic pen for a cooking has plastic or wooden handle might be you observed that you can see there's this kind of pans you have at your home this is a cooking pan and that might have this handle this kind of handles this is the this kind of wooden handle or plastic handle this kind of handles are there it will not become hot due to the heat transfer from this place because these are called the insulators i know that students in the 6th standard you already understood about the conductors and insulators we'll check it again what is this conductors and insulators so here some of the material which is given to you this is the some materials in the class which is given to you you have to observe and you have to note down here the what kind of the object it the transfers the material which, which has the article made up and why transfer the heat or what is this 
this kind of materials which are made of the different kind of materials which is plastic scale pencil spoon you have to observe that material what kind of material it is and you have to note it down here in the table so once you have uh, noticed that the heat transfer now the material which allow heat to pass through them easily are called the conductor that means if we have a metal strip if you give here a flame then it allows to transfer suppose this is the iron strip this is the iron strip if allows the transfer of heat that means this is called the conductor this is called the conductor you can note down there are some of the conductors is aluminium copper iron you also take the advantage of the utensils which are available in your house and you can check the water whether it is conductor or a insulator now what is insulator the conductors mostly the conductors that means that there are some of the conductors which are poor conductors of the heat which is not allowed is not allowed to transfer of heat from here to here there are poor conductors but it known as the insulators that means the water and air are a poor conductor of heat so now we need to understand how this water and air allow to transfer of heat and what exactly we should know about the transfer of heat in water and air what kind of the scientific idea what kind of the scientific things are applied over here when a transfer of heat in the water so here it is a example it is one activity is given here in this activity what you have to do we have to take this flask and with the stand tri stand which is a burner also you have this is a metal plate also uh, and metal frame also you can say and this you just have to add water and some potassium permanganate when you give heat from here once in this flask what happen once you give heat this potassium permanganate slowly 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 it goes in the upward direction from here from here it is goes in upward direction that means the heat which is given over here in the water it transfer some some parts of this potassium permanganate to upper surface directions the process of continue of the moving heat toward the upward directions that is called the convection that means what you can see here that when water is heated the water near the flame gets hot hot water rises up and cold water from the sides moves down towards source of the heat this water also gets hot and rises and water from the sides moves down you can see with the diagram i just want to show you how it happens see here in this plus suppose here is the water okay now what happens here is the potassium permanganate why we added potassium permanganate so you can see it is the pink color when you heat it it gets a pink color and once it gets the heat you can understand the the bubbles which goes upward direction so you can understand the water how it heat, take the heat in this you can see that when you heat this flask the water which is present here it is cold one okay once it gets the heat it gets this molecules or molars of this water get light after getting jab isko garam karte hain to kya hota hai ye pani thoda halka ho jata hai to garam pani kya hota hai dheere dheere upar ki or jata hai 
और ठंडा पानी नीचे आ जाता है वाइट कोल्डर वाटर कम्स डाउन साइड बिकॉज द हॉटर वाटर गो अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन सो द मोलिक्यूल्स ऑफ द कोल्डर वाटर गोज डाउन साइड से यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज प्लस सो हॉटर वाटर गो अप साइड कोल्डर वाटर डाउन साइड वॉटर अप साइड कोल्डर डाउन साइड सो दिस प्रोसेस कंटिन्यूसली गोज अप एंड डाउन एंड द मोड ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ द प्रोसेस ऑफ हीट इज कॉल्ड द कन्वेक्शन कन्वेक्शन इज मीन्स वॉट द हॉटर ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द वॉटर गोज इन द अपर डायरेक्शन द कोल्डर ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द वॉटर गोज इन द डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन वेयर दे गेट द हीट the process of continuous process of this going upward and downward direction see it's not like that the upper side of the water only go the side of the water which is near to the flask you can it's not like that okay, here if it is flask and only the water is present over here it goes down it's not like that the side water which is also colder it also can go down meaning of this thing that the hotter water will go upward direction or side water all the water present in upward direction will go to downward direction and get heat the process it is continuous happens no mode of heat this kind of heat the transfer of this kind of heat is known as convection <clears throat> you can also see in the air see in the older house maybe if uh, there is a house in the old house might have you have seen if you have old house might have you seen in near see this is a ceiling fan okay and near this ceiling fan you might have seen this kind of holes in the upper side of the wall might have you have seen here why these holes are made by your parents you can ask to them also why in summer when the heat gets when your room gets hot the air present in the room it gets a heat so because of heat it goes in the upward direction okay so once it goes upward direction and if it not get any kind of this if it is these holes are not present over here then what happen if the holes are not present here then the heat will not go outside so the room will go hot but once it is here the holes are given then what happen the air will go outside the air will go outside of the house and fresh air will come from the windows also or the doors also the hotter air will go outside so this is also the process of convection so top air goes downside and hotter air go the upward directions here also you might have seen about the hot air balloon maybe you have seen this hot air balloon i think so in this hot air balloon you might have seen here this there is a flame machine over here which gives the flame it goes the upward direction the flame it is goes only the hot air it passes over here when it hot air pass then continuously this air goes in the upward direction and balloon will blow this blow because of the hot air and the hot air goes upward direction so this hot air balloon goes on the upward direction and it will is fly is it it fly so the air and water get the heat the passes the heat that is called the convection air and water passes in the process the process is known as the convection process of passing the heat there are conduction we understood insulator we understood and the convection also we understood now there is some one more point we want to understand that is sea breach and land breach what is the sea breach and land breach you know that the, in the coastal area there are people are living in the coastal area they open their window in the morning time afternoon time because the during day the land gets heated faster than the water near the coastal area in the day time ret jo hoti ho garm gardi ho jata hai very fast it gets hot the air over the land becomes hotter and rises up 
अब एयर जो प्रेजेंट है रेत के ऊपर वो क्या होगा हॉट होगा तो कहा जाएगा ऊपर जाएगा द कूलर एयर फ्रॉम द सी रस इन द टूअर्स लैंड टू टेक इट्स प्लेस अब ठंडी हवा होती है पानी के ऊपर वो कहाँ है कि गर्म हवा की तरफ क्यों ये हमारा क्या है वो कन्वेक्शन दैट कन्वेक्शन बिकॉज ऑफ दिस कन्वेक्शन प्रोसेस द हॉटर एयर फ्रॉम द लैंड विल पास टूअर्ड्स द कोल्ड रीजन ऑफ द सी एंड सी विच हैज द कोल्ड एयर विच पास टूअर्ड्स द लैंड the warm air from the land moves to the sea to the complete the cycle the air from the sea is called the sea breeze in the day time jo sea par se hawa aati hai land ke upar ye jo bridge banata hai that is called the suppose this is the sea and suppose this is land and the, here it comes the colder air cold air is it so this is called the sea breeze okay similarly in the night time it is exactly the reverse the water cools down more slowly than land so the cool air from the land move towards the sea this is called the land breeze what happens in night time the water cools down more slowly than the land so the cool air from the land moves towards the sea this is called the land bridge similarly sometimes you have this is you understand about the sea bridge and land bridge now you also observe that when you go outside immediately you will feel heat when you reach in the sun after reaching out from your house if you goes out aur ghar se bahar nikalte hain to hame garmi lagti hai why it happens it cannot reaches by conduction or convection is there any medium conduction hota hai nahi conduction to ek continuous process hai metal hota hai to ho sakta hai convection hai nahi air aur water ho sakta hai to convection bhi nahi hai to what is the process so the process here you can see from the sun the heat comes to us by another process that is known as radiation okay you can see here the process which is called the exam there such a medium air in most parts of the space between the earth and sun so, so you can see uh, this is the sun okay and suppose this is the earth what is here there is a air only okay so what happens here you will get there is sun rays over your body if you are here if you standing here you will get sun rays huh? if you have this is sun suppose and if you are standing here okay so you will get sun rays and this is called the radiation okay so this radiation will make you hot you can use uh, uh, if you have bulb 200 voltage bulb and uh, if you switch on that bulb and after 2 or 3 minutes if you put your hand near to the bulb not put your hand on the bulb you just take your hand close to the bulb you can also feel heat that is also one kind of radiation because it just passes the this is the heat passes from the light what kind of light the sun heat it is called the sun heat so it is called the radiation okay so the transfer of heat by radiation does not require any medium it can take place whether a medium is present or not when we sit in front of a room heater we get heat by this process a hot utensil kept away from the flame cools down as it transfer heat to the surroundings by radiation our body too gives heat to the surroundings and receive heat from it by radiation all hot bodies radiate heat when this heat falls on some object a part of it is reflected a part is observed and a part may be transmitted the temperature of the object increase due to the observed part of heat why 
are you advised to use an umbrella when you go out in the sun? You know that because the radiations which in the summer it is very near, the sun is very near to the earth in the summer. So the radiation comes very hot. So it will burn your skin in the afternoon. So to protect yourself, you can take umbrella during the summer. So radiation is the process where you get the process where you get the heat by there is no medium there is no medium that is not a conduction or a convection it never required any kind of the medium and that also gives the heat this kind of the heat sometimes see sun passes the radiation that radiations are suppose it passes the radiation to your body but this is not all the radiations directly it passes here is the ozone layer okay this ozone layer protects you from the direct rays of the sunlight that is called the uv rays it protects you from the uv rays it protects your body from the uv rays what it is called it is called the uv rays so it protects you and then it comes to your body then also it gives a loss of heat so i hope you understand this topic also now kinds of clothes we wear in summer and winter so students we understood uh, in the previous topic that what kind of the clothes uh, which is fiber to fabric from what kind of clothes are made in the cotton clothes why cotton clothes we wear in the summer why cotton and this kind of cotton clothes we are not wearing in the winter and why woolen clothes are we wear in the winter that we understand everything about this clothes why we wear particular clothes in this winter and summer the woolen clothes keeps us warm in the winter that's why we wear and that's why we always wear uh, this kind of the woolen clothes in the in the winter okay also here you can do one activity uh, for our better understanding of transfer of heat take a two canes here we have taken a two canes see this is the black surface this is the white surface cane and in mid some light as you can see there where some shadow comes some light comes you put these two canes which is filled with ice and or maybe a cold water you just keep outside for a few minutes or one hour half hour and after half hour you check the temperature of the both the canes what you observe what exactly happens so you can see here that he, here you can see that in this temp this uh, cane the temperature will be more compared to this why it is so it is that darker surface observe more heat darker surface observe more heat Therefore, we feel comforted with dark color clothes in the winter. Light color clothes reflect most of the heat that falls on them and therefore we feel more comforted wearing them in the summer. Kai bar hame bolte hai na, ke black clothes fan ho, black clothes fan ho winter mein. Because this black color will observe more heat. Even in solar cooker, maybe you have observed in the solar cooker, see in the solar cooker this kind of the cooker is made. We have in the science project uh, last year we made this kind of solar cookers. You might have seen. See, these are the canes which are present in the uh, cooker. This is the and uh, this is the outer part. Here it is a glass, and this is the outer part which is colored with the black. This is the black colored, is it? So this is the solar cooker also where it is the black color outer part of the solar cooker, and that is why it observes the. Uh, more heat from the sunlight and it cooks very fast so now you understand why the darker object will observe more and more heat is it so this is the reason we use woolen clothes we use darker clothes in the winter so students i hope you understand every point in this chapter heat and uh, you just revise it thank you
थैंक यू वेरी मच